This week on the RC Shop, we work on the scale details for the Highway 1 Marlin Crawler project, and I also address the question I was asked. First, I want to give a look at the paint on the body. Uh, I used some black to give just a slight fade to the bottom of the body, and also left a little black in the creases of the body to give the illusion of depth. Now it's time to add that roll bar we've been talking about into the cutouts of the door. I use some scrap material I have laying around for the bars. Make sure and measure for fitment. I use a little sandpaper to bevel the ends. And paint black for a finished look. Now, if we take a closer look at one of the photos I've been using for reference, we can see that there's padding on that roll bar. We can't skip on this detail, so I picked up some foam we can use. With the roll bars taken care of, let's move our attention to some of the finishing work, like the black details.
When Highway 1 sent this over to me, the grill had some blemishes on it. Um, I don't know if that happened during shipping or if the Highway 1 guys wrecked another truck. But either way, we can fix it for them. Next, we got to get that glass to fit. Going to need the notch for the hinges. We'll also have to remove the side glass considering we don't have any doors. Also added in the details like the side markers and the windshield wipers. Also referencing another photo I've been using, we can see the real truck has some smaller side mirrors. The stock ones are much too big, so I had the fab shop make a pair. A little cleanup, some paint, and they're good to go. Now I'd like to address a question I got, and that's how does the grill attach considering the, the hood opens and you lose your mounting points? Well, let's take a look. You can see the original mounting points are clearly not going to work. So we fabbed a couple brackets that utilize the head LED mounts. They now serve two functions, holding the headlights and the grill. This week's fan ride is Lee over at Bull Gear RC. Go check out his channel, guys. He's got a pretty cool project going on that he's calling Ugly Bubba. And, well, it ain't that ugly, but it is a big beast. Hey, thanks for joining me again this week, guys. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button, hit the share, uh, hit that subscription if you want to keep up with the builds. Also, send me your fan photos to the email address down in the description, and I'll see you guys next time.